All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk to you about some procs that I've been able to play around with for the last couple of weeks, and they are the Big Big Wan Armor X and Armor X Pro wireless back button attachments. And basically what these do is they turn your regular Xbox Series controller into an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller by giving it the functionality that everything you get with that for a much lower price. So basically the two products here are the Armor X, which is the one that costs 50 US dollars, then the Armor X Pro, which costs 70 US dollars. And right off the bat, the biggest difference between these two products are the fact that the Armor X Pro has additional features. It has gyro and motion controls, as well as the ability to completely customize everything via an app on Android or iOS. And this doesn't have those two things, but it essentially does everything else just with the touch of a button on the back of this. So first of all, what can you do with this? You can map every single face button just like you can with the Elite Series to four back buttons here, M1 to M4. You have the ability to have a turbo functionality. You hit that, you'll have a turbo and you can map the turbo to any of the buttons on your, your Xbox controller, your right trigger, your, your right bumper, your A or B or whatever. And you can actually kind of select the milliseconds between each button press with this turbo functionality. You have the ability to switch between multiple profiles. And then you have the ability to have hair triggers at the top of a button right in the middle here difference with that is with the armor x pro the middle button is gyro control so you have the ability to turn gyro controls on and off now how do i feel about these things when you open it up you get this little dongle here and this is what connects the armor x to your controller to your console and have every has everything working they also have it also has a built-in rechargeable battery so it's something that you can actually just keep on the back of your controller and constantly charge your Xbox Series controller without having to go and use AA batteries to keep the battery life of your, your Xbox Series controller on. So how do I feel about these procs? So I've been using them, I've been playing Halo, I've been playing Call of Duty mainly and just kind of testing it out and seeing if these increase how good I am at the game. And at the end of the day, kind of like the Elite Series controller, gives you a slight uptick on your actual skill in the game just because especially with those hair triggers, if you can pull the trigger faster than somebody else, you have a good chance of getting a kill. But like anything in life, if you're not that great at the game, this isn't gonna elevate you to the status of being like a professional player or anything. But I have to say, I've actually really been enjoying both of these products. I've been using mo mostly the Armor X Pro because I've been really kind of liking the gyro functionality. I've never been a big fan of gyro controls. I They've just never been something that I thought that have actually helped me play a first person shooter. But I'm finding that when you turn these gyro controls on, it works really well. I thought the controller was going to be crazy and your reticule was going to be everywhere and you're really going to have to rein it in. But no, it works very, very well. And I find when playing Halo and playing Call of Duty, if you use the gyro controls alongside the right thumbstick when aiming, it gives you that like slight amount of almost perfect precision, more kind of like using a mouse. Obviously not to the same level, but it gives you just that extra precision that you don't get without the driver control. So I've actually been liking that. And it may be something that I continue to use with first person shooters down the road because I'm surprised of it actually functioning in a way that increases your game. I've always thought gyro controls kind of take it away. It's kind of more of a gimmick, but so far with this has actually been pretty cool. I like the feel of it on the back. The one thing I will say is the M1 and the M4 and M3 are kind of close together. And if you have bigger fingers, you may accidentally hit the other, the button you're not wanting to hit, which can kind of be annoying when you're playing through a game. You, you have to get used to that. That's something you have to kind of adjust your fingers a little bit on the back and make sure that you're not accidentally hitting them because they are very easy to push down. So if you slightly slide over it, it will hit. Something that isn't a huge deal, eventually as you're playing through with this on the back, you do get used to it and kind of just adjust where your fingers are laid out. I do like that there is that rechargeable battery attached. So if you are using this, you, your controller dies, you can just charge it. You're not having to take this thing off, change the AA batteries and then put it back on and stuff like that. So that's cool that it does have rechargeable battery in there that lasts pretty long. I think it's like 10 to 12 hours, which isn't too bad for, for longer gaming sessions. You're not really going to run out of battery in on a single charge. It'll take multiple play times for this thing to die. And just overall, I like the customizability of it, that you can literally change everything on here with a couple clicks of a button. You do have to look through the manual or, or find some tutorials online just to firstly understand how it all works. 
But then after that, or at least I did, but after that, you, you figure it out and it works really well. The other really cool thing about these back button attachments is because of this wireless dongle, you can attach it to your Nintendo Switch. You can attach it to your PC. You can attach it to your PlayStation 4. You can use an Xbox Series controller on PlayStation. You can use it on the Nintendo Switch. So if this is a, your preferred controller over the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, go ahead and use this and you still get all of that functionality of the back buttons and everything, which is really cool. Now, getting back to the app. So this is probably one of the coolest things I would say and why I would say if you're trying to choose between getting the regular Armor X or the Armor X Pro, I would potentially look at spending that extra 20 bucks to get the Armor X Pro just because of all the stuff you can do within this app. All right, so here is the app. It's super easy to set up. I'm using it right now on an iPad, but you can download this on an Android phone. One thing I will mention is that the app actually did not work on my Pixel 6 with Android 13. I don't know if this is something that just needs to be updated for the app. That's the latest version of Android, I believe. And maybe it just isn't compatible yet, but it just wouldn't work. The thing is it needs to ask for like Bluetooth and location, and it just didn't happen on my Pixel 6. I've tried everything. I tried giving it permission. It didn't work, but I'm using it right now on my iPad, and you can literally just do the, all of the same things you can on an Android phone or on an iOS device. So you just open it up. It scans for your device, and it will connect to it once it's on. I got to turn on the, the actual button here. Boom, I turned it on on the back, you felt the vibration and it connects right to it. And you can have all of these different configurations for it and it's very, very customizable. You can even have macros, add macros to the actual device itself, which is the duration between the presses and stuff like that for the turbos, I believe. Go back to configuration, you add a configuration and this is, it's just extremely customizable and very, very easy to do. You can see down here, there's so much you can customize. You can customize your sensor, sensitivity, sensor hor horizontal vertical ratio, your sensor curve, your response curve. You can customize everything down for your motion controls and how you want that to control. The sticks itself, you can actually customize the dead zones in the sticks. Now this is all software based obviously. So you're gonna have to play around with it and see exactly how you like it. Uh, the delays, the response, the performance, all that type of stuff. You can change that. You can customize your triggers, the dead zones and the triggers, as well as turn on hair triggers, left trigger, right trigger, and it all works as soon as, as soon as you do it, then you can go through it and do all of the key mapping stuff. So this is a big advantage, I think with that armor X pro. And just, if you're somebody who wants to fine tune every little piece of your regular Xbox series controller. You're gonna to wanna to get the Armor X Pro and then go through the app and try everything out and essentially just have the perfect controller for how you wanna play a game. And you can add different profiles on there. So just going into the app, quickly switching between profiles in the middle of the game, you're gonna get access to all that type of stuff. So it's very, very cool. And I would say that's the biggest difference. For $20 more, I think it is worth it just for that app. And one more thing I need to mention before I get to the conclusion of this is that you can actually change the vibration of the trigger motors in your Xbox controllers just with the couple presses of a button here on the, the Armor X and the Armor X Pro. It's actually really cool. You can see how high the vibration goes on your triggers, which is something that you don't really experience when you're playing games is kind of is already out there from what the developer puts in and you can kind of adjust that for how you want it, how much vibration and feedback you want from pressing those triggers, which is very, very cool. In conclusion, are these for you? Are these something that I think you should go out and buy? I would say yes, if you're looking for just a quick upgrade to your regular Xbox Series controller, you want all of the functionality that you get with an Elite Series 2 without paying that premium price. Obviously with the premium price, you do get a lot more. I mean, you get the amazing build quality of these things. You get the ability to swap out like the joysticks and the D-pads and even take off the back buttons if you don't want it. So there is that to it. I mean, this is definitely still the best option on the market if you're willing to pay the price for it. But for something to just kind of turn your regular Elite Series controller, have a ton, a ton of customizability, this could be for you. I recommend the Armor X Pro because I love the app functionality and I love the ability to just turn on motion gyro controls and see if it helps your game out when you're playing. The drawbacks to it, as I've mentioned, the controller buttons in the back. Sometimes if like for me, if you have bigger hands, 
you hit the wrong buttons. You gotta, gotta have to get used to it. I've gotten used to it now, so I don't really do it anymore. The fact that you're not getting that build quality with Elite Series, that's another drawback if that's what you're looking for. And then the last thing is right now, I sent this feedback back to Big Big One that the app isn't working on Android 13. At least it wasn't for me or on my Pixel 6. So hopefully that's something they can easily just push out and fix that. So if you do have the newer Androids, you're gonna be able to get that app functionality with the Armor X Pro. I will have a link to these products in the description below. So if you wanna check them out, go ahead. And uh, yeah, pretty cool products. And again, sent to me from Big Big Wand. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to review these. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you in the next video.